This is News 3 Sports. And welcome to Goreville High School's baseball stadium. The lights are on and it's a beautiful gesture for both the senior class and the first responders. Those lights came on at 820 or 2020 again to represent the seniors. And speaking of those seniors, well, a lot of them played basketball as well. They went all the way to Peoria for the Final Four to find out their season had come to an end without even playing basketball. Now they're hoping they'll get an opportunity to play baseball, but that might not happen. And for these baseball players to have two seasons come to an end and one not even start, that's heartbreak. Honestly, we probably were gonna be better at baseball than we were at basketball, and we were going to state for basketball. So I feel like uh, this is probably going to be a really strong team, and I'm sure we were going to make it up there to Peoria again this year. That's a bold statement, but maybe not far-fetched. This is a Black Hats team that will have at least four, maybe five players playing collegiate ball. There's some new faces on this year's team and some returning experience. I would have like to play a couple games with these guys because I've never I've never played with any of these, these guys before so it was a whole new experience for me I would love to play a few games with these guys especially being in my senior year you know probably not gonna be able to see these guys for a while after high school is over I would I would love to play with them the depth that we had in basketball I think we were definitely going to bring that to baseball on the pitching aspect um we were we were so deep for this year, and I think that would have helped us tremendously and could still if we play. Well, not just Nick. We had Cam come in from uh, West Virginia, and he's, a, he's another kid that's more of a baseball player than a basketball player. So we just brought two more. I mean, we had a solid infield last year, and we brought two more really, really good infielders. Of, I mean, like Hank had said, our, our depth in baseball was just as good as it was in basketball, if not better. For this year's seniors, who would have thought that last year's sectional finals, a Sweet 16 matchup against Steelville, could have possibly been their last ever high school game? We, we lost that game, and it was really tough looking at uh, the seniors, and they were really emotional about it. It was their last game, and you're sitting there thinking, I mean, at least we have another year. It could always be worse. And, you don't even consider it possible that you just are going to miss your whole senior season like it wasn't even in the realm of possibility at the time. It didn't even sound like something that could ever happen. It's the worst, worst feeling um, knowing that, you know, me pitching in that game, it definitely was not my best outing. And uh, it's just hard because I feel like, you know, there's a degree where I let my team down and – that's the hardest to sit with that maybe my last night. For these competitive athletes, it's hard not to get emotional, but they're saying all the right things and still hanging on to hope. You know, seeing that some of the surrounding states have completely just shut it down is hard. And just seeing that we haven't shut it down yet, it just it leaves me with a little bit of hope that, you know, there's still a chance and that we still got to keep working hard every day to, you know, hopefully get that chance. I mean, it's really easy to just uh, be upset that we're missing all this time, but you, you can just dwell on it and waste your time at home, or you can just try to come out of it a better person and a better athlete and make the best of it. I mean, it sucks. I would have liked to go to state for two different sports, but uh, I'm just trying to stay active the best I can and not hang my head down too low and just take advantage of our situation right now to the best of my ability. But, I mean, it sucks. On Tuesday, the IHSA will be getting together and voting on whether or not spring sports will even be played or canceled. And also, SIU got another commitment. They got one from a D2 player from Glenville State. His name is Steven Verplanken. So we'll see whether or not he does sign and becomes eligible. Reporting from Goreville, Jason Hurst, News 3 Sports.